After tonight, you may not be strong. Drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Top five Let's ghosts get into it. caught on camera. Ah. Lady in the water. Debbie Morales and her friends are tubing down the canals of the Isabella River in Puerto Rico oh, when she dang. begins to record with her phone. Debbie can be heard screaming and laughing until her camera catches something in the water that quickly makes her lose her voice. What? Yeah, so what's happening? She's in the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bam! Pow! Pow! Bam! Debbie posted the video to Facebook, saying that she saw a scary apparition in the water. Ooh, she asked that's friends that's... to take a look and see if they saw the same thing in the video. Yo, and that, they did. That feels like a head, you know, someone with the white claw. Online viewers speculated that the image could be anything from the ghost of a drowning victim to a body in the water. And some even went so far as to suggest that it might be a mermaid. <laughs> hmm. now, the most bizarre part of this video is that whatever this is almost seems to lunge toward Debbie before disappearing back into the water. Damn. But what do you think? Is this just a strange trick of the light or a reflection? Or did Debbie catch something supernatural it might be a dolphin, you know what I mean? Boom, my God! You decide. Might be a dolphin. Meanwhile, on I'm TikTok. I'm joking, I'm joking. Meanwhile, on TikTok. TikTok user Alexander Henderson says that throughout his life, he's always been prone to sleepwalk during the night. Oh, damn. One morning, he wakes up to find his front door wide open. When he checks his security camera, he's shocked by what he finds. Yay! Is he sleepwalking now too? Okay, so three in the morning, January. Around the time when I believe I moved out my bed. I just cannot explain what happened. The keys are moving. Pow! Bam! Speaking gibberish, I'm not sure what I said. I didn't go to sleep in a sweater. But is he sleepwalking or... He's acting like a robot, acting like an NPC. His movements are very like NPC-like. Is this GTA 6 gameplay? Alexander seems to be sleepwalking and speaking gibberish when something hanging next to the door starts swinging around on its own and an empty water jug slides right across the floor. Alexander opens the door, walks outside, and suddenly screams. <laughs> he says he has no recollection of what happened to him and has no idea why he screamed. Now, Alexander says he's experienced supernatural activity before, so he begins to suspect that he might have seen something paranormal while sleepwalking. Damn. Then, only a day later, this happens. Oh, he was really sleepwalking. <laughs> Man, the sound that it made. <laughs> A chair moves on its own, the fridge door opens, and what appears to be a pack of pop- Oh my god, you saw the guy- Okay, that was just a human, right? But I- I, I thought that that was a ghost, kind of like peeking like that. Why are you gonna peek like that, man? It's scary. Plastic Spoons is launched off the kitchen counter. Over the next few months, uh, nothing much happens. But then late one night, Alexander is hanging out at his friend Adam's house when he sees something truly chilling. Hey! Oh! Oh, what? Oh, damn, man. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Bah! Bullet! I'm out of my ammo. <laughs> when Adam arrived, she was gone. A strange-looking woman wearing a red dress appears to be watching Alexander from the building across the street. Alexander claims that when his friend Adam finally came over to see what was going on, the creepy woman had disappeared. Daniel. While there, Adam asks Alexander to take a look at a speaker that's been acting up and might be broken. Alexander is still recording and captures something terrifying. Ah, okay, terrifying, this might be bad. Uh-oh. 
I think it's gonna jump out on the way. What? Why not the top of it? Press it. There's a few here, so press the one in the middle. Hey! 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 Ow! I think it's gonna appear behind him. In the reflection, maybe? I don't know. Oh! Did you see it? Oh! In the reflection of the window, the same woman in red can- Bro! I was like, it's either gonna, like, appear as as he's trying to click it in the window, like, in front of him, or in the reflection. Damn. And suddenly be seen standing behind Alexander in the doorway. When he pans around, the woman has moved in an instant and is now Damn. standing right next to him. Bruh. Who or what could this eerie looking figure be? Could it be a spirit that attached itself to the sleepwalking TikTok user? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? Thoughts? You decide. Thoughts, boys? This next creepy video went viral on TikTok, but it was originally recorded by Indonesian Twitter user Gusta Dang. Goose explains on Twitter that he was flying from Surabaya, Indonesia to Bali and that he was the very first passenger to board the empty plane. As Goose is boarding, he records a video to send back to his wife. When he looks back at his footage, he spots something truly chilling. Oh, damn. What? There was a kid and there was no one supposed to be here, right? Can you turn the camera? Someone oh. or something that seems to be cloaked in black can be seen moving around in one of the seats. But when Goose walks by the seat, there's no one there. Yeah. Goose to Dang's video. It's like here, right? He should have just panned the camera or maybe he didn't see. Has been watched over 14 million times and many viewers believe that the strange figure in the video could be the spirit of a deceased passenger. But what do you think? Take that user Jim works at what he believes to be a haunted hospital in New Jersey. Early one afternoon, a security camera in one of the hospital's hallways captures something very creepy during Jim's shift. It's gonna move, I assume. Hey! Hey! <laughs> A supply cart can be seen rolling down the hallway on its own, freaking out the hospital staff nearby. Jim and his co-workers have no idea what could have moved the cart. But they don't really look freaked out though. Bruh. Things are about to get even stranger. E Another e CCTV e camera in the hospital's laundry room records something absolutely unnerving. Uh -oh. <laughs> It's gonna fall, I assume. It's like it's moving. It's my. Hey! No way! No way! Send me the video. When you oh, I'm gonna. But that's when the other one comes over. How? How is that moving? It's like it, it didn't want to see the front of it. You know, it yeah. It's funded so that he didn't have to look at it no more. Whoever's in that room. Damn, son. Yeah. It did almost uh, 180, almost. Madeline, you didn't see, come and look at the second one. Here comes the second one. No, the second one's moving now. No. <laughs> I mean, listen, man, Watch who the needs... One. Then the second one falls off. It's doing its job on its own, that's good. Night, she don't know what to say. She was like... She was on FaceTime with somebody. Watch oh, the second one. Any second. <laughs> I wish my laundry. No, I don't want to say that. I want to say that, man. I want to say that. Like, I, I, I want to do my laundry on my own. Okay, I don't want anyone to do the laundry like that. Not happen. Look, the ghost. Look, look at it. Who's spinning it? You yeah, any sign it? It's spinning the cycle. It's gotta be spinning. No there's way. no way Isn't that, that spin. There, there's no. I don't care if it's bolted or not. They're, they're, they don't spin like that. Mine ain't bolted in my house. Mine don't come and walk around my. <laughs> <living room. laughs> Look, look, that's true. Why? Look, look how that Yo, it's gonna fall. Out. How'd it come out like that? Mm -mm. That was pushed out. I don't yep. care what nobody said. You can... They're not even freaked out, though. Tell me whatever you want. Me too. I can't wait to show everybody. <laughs> look, here, wait. Where's Keith? Yeah, caught, caught you in 4K. Look, look, look at this. Look. Look. Eehee, <laughs> eehee, caught you in 4K. I cannot wait to show it to everybody. Eehee. <laughs> look at that. 
No way. It's gonna fall. <laughs> no way. Gravity. Any scientist? Any scientist? Here. No way. I'm showing the ghost in the back. What? The oh, did you, did you ever see what happened last night? Forgot about it. The laundry. We'll die. We'll die. Laundry, yeah. The laundry, all the laundry things in there. Yeah. They just start moving. Right they just start coming out and moving and going in circles and what you call it. Uh -huh. Come and look. Yeah. But it's crazy. I no, never saw anything like it my whole life. Heavy washers and dryers slide across the floor as if they weigh nothing, seemingly moved by some unseen force. Jim and his fellow hospital workers can't believe their eyes as they watch the CCTV monitor. Damn. Now, even I'm not sure just what's going on here. Could it be that the hospital is indeed haunted, like Jim says? Or just what could be spinning around multiple heavy washers all at the same time? Let me know what you think. I don't know, Before man. we move on to the next video, if you see L.com strange supernatural activity going on in his haunted home for many years now and posting his experiences to his YouTube channel, Ghosts of Carmel, Maine, uh, uh, in his latest YouTube docu-series about Yo, I've seen this clip. This is some of the scariest. Is this like a prequel or a sequel? Because I know this man made a bunch of videos. The house can't reveal some chilling, never-before-seen footage. It might be a sequel. Yo, yeah, this is some of the scariest, I'm telling you, man. Hey! <laughs> Child shadow figure caught while exploring the basement. This man has captured so much. We reacted to a clip from him early, uh, like a while ago on the channel. Definitely check out other videos on the channel, man. I'm telling Kent you. Kent believes that the paranormal presence in his home has become much more sinister and aggressive. The haunting has become so extreme that it now seems that the spirits are actually out to hurt Kent. I think During it's a, a spirit box session, Kent captures a chilling message. Kill Kent. What? What'd you say? What? What'd you say? Okay. Okay. Are we gonna see like figures or something? Did you say murder Kent? That, that's the second time I've heard that. I would have swore a, a few minutes ago I heard them say kill, kill Kent. And just a second ago I would have swore I heard them say murder Kent. Dang. Now, threats are one thing. But what happens next is downright terrifying. I... Two hours after. Uh, bah, 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 bah. I think I saw that. What the hell is that noise? You if I see him. <laughs> There was somebody in the the restroom, and it's so loud, too, bro. What the hell? There is no doubt that if I stepped down in that water, I would have been electrocuted. The heater motor was in the water, and for some reason the breaker never tripped. And on top of the fact that that water was splashing all over the breaker panel, Damn. I have no doubt, if I would have stepped down in that water, I would have been dead. And the only thing that saved me was remembering the voices just prior that said, kill Kent, murder Kent. That's what stopped me from stepping down in that water. What's your name? What's his name? Is his name Kent? Yeah, man. Okay, the, the heater motor was in the water. That's just weird. Yeah, man. Thankfully. Kent's basement suddenly floods and high voltage lines are making contact with the water. Kent is convinced that he could have lost his life if he hadn't been so wary of the ominous threats that he had received earlier. When Kent is walking through the main floor of his home. Yeah, his name is Kent. He experiences something that chills him to his core. Oh my god, chills it to his core? 
A shadow figure is standing at the top of the staircase, seemingly waiting for Kent in the darkness. Shocked by the sudden appearance, Kent has had enough for a while and just steps outside and into the cold main snow. Kent's encounters have been widely viewed by his YouTube audience and even privately investigated by paranormal groups. All believe that the house in Carmel, Maine is severely haunted. Yeah, this has to be a sequel. And I'll tell you this, man. This isn't as scary as the one that I've seen before. The, the video he made before that we reacted to a while ago, that was some of the scariest, man. Why something sinister? Um, I feel like that this guy... I feel I genuinely feel like that this guy is telling the truth. If, it's not, if he's not, this is a very well-made hoax. Which I don't think is... I don't think it's a hoax because of the, the clips that I've seen in the past and, from and him. ...investigate the Lamb House. It is truly an experience that I will never, ever forget. The amount of activity and interaction is just yeah. mind-blowing. What? What do you think? Let me know down in the comments. I'm not just taking these videos into account. I'm taking like uh, his older videos into account and stuff that I have seen. It just feels very bizarre, very creepy. Man. Closet space. And this Number next two. extremely spooky video from Japan. Real estate agents can be seen giving a tour of an empty apartment to a potential renter. Japan. The woman is interested in renting and says that she is surprised by the low monthly price. Yeah. As she tours the apartment, she low monthly price only for you. Ah, yeah, man. Damn, man. I do love me some low monthly prices too, but god damn it. Records a video with her phone to review later. But when she's all alone in one of the apartment's bedrooms, uh -oh. things take a terrifying turn. Uh -oh. Yo, if it appears in the mirror. Agent, there's another room, so... I have a feeling it's gonna appear in the mirror. Man, let's take a look. This way, right? Yes, agent, yes, on your left. How about the air conditioner? Says man. Is man says that, is there... The buyer will have to install one? If that's okay. It's on us? Yes, he says. Oh my god, here maybe? Because there's one already? So they're just investigating the house, the apartment, and there are noises. Unexplained bang. Hey! Water might start running. Oh, hey! Yo, put the camera up, man! It was coming from inside here? Oh, don't, don't, don't. Oh, poppy chill. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, hell no. Nah. Oh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. don't do it. Is the door opening or is he getting just closed? I think the door. Bro, no, no, no. I'm shooting, bro. Just making sure all of it. Okay, that's just clothes or maybe I don't know. Yo, he's gonna look behind me. That's all. What? Okay, I didn't see it properly. Oh man. Oh man. I don't know what's so happening, but yeah, 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 yeah. What's happening? What's happening? Bro, bro, bro. The woman is frozen in fear when two pale hands grab her by the legs. Then as she looks up, a terrifying face can be seen peeking out from the top of the bedroom closet. What? What? Okay, I didn't see those arms reaching because I was like, you know, I was kind of like scared and shy. Now, as with most Japanese videos, the source of this clip is impossible to find. And I have no idea what happened afterwards. So is it real? 
Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? I mean, listen, man, Japanese are Japanese people are 500 IQ, and the fact that, like, previously, the, the lady was holding some sort of manual or something, like, in, in her hands, and that was pixelated as well, it was perfectly tracked with a, with a program, maybe After Effects, I know After Effects can do that, where if you want something to be blurred out, pixelated, you can track that object, and if that object moves like crazy, it will still say pix, it will still stay pixelated so my point here is that Japan Japanese people are 500 IQ so this can be fake uh, but it's scary you decide either your videos not all Japanese people are 500 IQ either they're 500 IQ or like minus 500 IQ let me tell Bruh. you that this next video was sent by a stop by viewer who wishes to remain anonymous he explains in his email that he's in the United States military and is stationed at a US military post in Germany he says that two of his friends were out on a regular patrol, checking out a creepy old German chapel. Now, this chapel was controlled by German military forces during the Second World War, and it is said to be extremely haunted. As the two men check out the dark chapel, they are shocked when they start to hear unexplained voices coming through their two-way radios. Damn! Yeah, we need the MP5 for this one, dog. Unexplained voices, I gotta itch my ear. Cover me, cover me. That's our radio's going off in the cage. I don't know if somebody's hot mic or not. They're laughing or what was that? There's the one the They open. What was that? Okay, walking slowly. It went off. It, it turned off. It turned off? Yo, why are you guys making noises like that? You're just walking slowly. Yo, if I see any activity, I'm about to empty the entire mag. What? I saw a silhouette. I saw a silhouette. I'm just walking. So far, so good. Okay, they're out. I think. Yeah. yeah. Clear. If you couldn't tell, we were just standing at the the top of the pews, basically, and our radios just started going off. And there was voices and like a lady whispering in it. I swear to God. Oh damn! And nobody said hot mic. You because really, the because the desk radio can say hot mic over the, yeah. and it'll it'll Don't cut over it. Yeah. And it wasn't us because we would have heard each other talking. Damn. So these brave men, will they go back? You just send that stuff to stay dude. What seems to be the voice of a child can be heard, followed by the inaudible voices of adults. Oh, there is more. Unexplained voices. Now the radio channel that they are using is restricted to military communication. So the two men have no idea where the voices could be coming from or what they are saying. They wonder if it could possibly be the ghosts of tragic souls that passed away during the Second World War. But what do you think these voices are? And just what could they be saying? Let me know what you think. A Nuke's Top 5 viewer who wishes to remain anonymous reached out to me about a very spooky situation he found himself in late one night at an abandoned church in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. What? Canada! Yo, where are you at? Let me know where you at. I'm in Montreal, Canada. Viewer explains in his email that he works security and is dispatched to investigate buildings where motion-activated alarms have been triggered. Late oh. one night, he gets a call that a motion alarm has been triggered on the second floor of a creepy old abandoned church. When he arrives, he sees something suspicious and begins to record. What he captures is truly disturbing. Oh, I think it's time for the MP5, man. I want to use the MP5 at least once. Oh, there? Oh, what the f***? 
Oh, what the f***? Oh, he works for the Popo? Oh, that's Babylon, bro. We got the Popo, the Babylon. He saw something there, right? Daniel. But why is the Babylon there? We got the Dogos as well. Someone or something small and dark can be seen moving away from the second floor window. Now, prior to this encounter, the security guard says that he had checked all doors into the building and they all were locked tight. He immediately calls the police to the scene to investigate, but they find no one inside and no way that anyone could have gained entry. Damn. The mysterious sighting caught on camera remains a mystery. But of course, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, man, this is not it. Click on this video on the screen, subscribe, and I'll see you right there, man.